Hi everyone, this is Charm again from Ready to Adult Philippines, a channel about personal finance, entrepreneurship, and adulting how-tos. If you've seen in my socials, I just came from Japan, and in a couple of days, I'm leaving again for Korea. And I wanted to share with you guys how I plan my travels. So this video is dedicated to planning your travels in five steps. Number one is gonna be really simple. It's determining your travel goals or your dream destinations. So needless to say, it's good to travel to places you actually want to go to. So like me, I write that down in my notes on the phone. And I, it's for my travels for the next few months or years. And it can be as near as Malapascua or Bantayan and as far as places like the US, Australia, Europe. And these are places that I either want to go back to or have never been and want to visit. And you can keep adding places to the list. So yeah, determine where you want to go. So number two is what's your budget? So knowing your budget can actually determine the places you can go to next. I suggest having a travel fund that you put money in religiously every payday or every month. I set aside 10,000 pesos every month for travel. So that's 120,000 pesos a year. So I can either spend all of that in one travel or I can do multiple travels a year that still amounts to the whole annual budget. So determining your budget like uh, 2,000, 3,000, or even 5,000 pesos a month can help you pinpoint the location that you can go to and what are the things and activities that you can actually do there. Number three is finding out the reason why you want to travel or why you want to visit that particular place or country. So what do I mean by knowing the reason why you want to visit that place? For example, you want to visit Japan or Korea for the food scene or Bali or Boracay for the beaches or you have to travel because you have to attend a conference or an event or you just want a staycation. So finding out why you want to visit that place can actually um, determine the budget you can allocate for either your transportation or your hotel or your budget for the food so for example you're there for staycation so obviously you would splurge a little bit more on the hotel as compared to say you want to backpack across Southeast Asia so that's gonna take like a week or two so maybe you can cut down on your hotel or your lodging budget so that you can spend more on excursions and food so yeah, determine why you want to visit that place. Is it for a road trip? Is it for visiting the churches? And, or is it for shopping or the food? So you can plan your itinerary and your budget accordingly. Number four is to do your research. So, Hi everyone, this is Editing Charm and I realized that the bulk of this video is about research. So I'm just gonna make this a separate video. Uh, I hope you watch that one maybe next week or in a couple of days. And I'll just go ahead and discuss number five. So last but not the least, number five, book and plan ahead. So when I say book and plan ahead, I mean kind of know what your itinerary is gonna be. And I'm gonna make a separate video for this because I'm quite OC actually with planning my itinerary. Here are some samples. I plot them out in spreadsheets. You guessed it. And yeah, I'm actually not that strict when it comes to following the itinerary. But I want my travels and trips to actually be somewhat structured so I don't waste time planning while I'm in the trip. And when I say book ahead, book ahead your flights because especially if the countries need visas they actually look for those documents your flight going there and going back so that they can make sure that you're actually going there as a tourist and for hotels if you're not yet sure that your visa will get approved um, there are actually websites that offer free cancellation up to 30 days or seven days before your trip 
and planning to book ahead can actually save you money because like for example Klook always has promos and flights fluctuate a lot but there are peso fares and 99 peso fares and stuff like that and yeah needless to say it gets more expensive if you book on a whim and last tip is when you're planning your itinerary and your budget bloat it because in my experience you have unexpected um, expenses and I don't want to pass off an experience just because I didn't really see it coming so I usually bloat all my expenses from food from transportation from accommodation and activities so yeah that's how I plan my travels in five steps and if you like this video, then please click like and subscribe to this channel. Share this video with your friends and families. And I will see you in my next video. This has been Charm from Ready to Adult Philippines. My dog wants to say hi. So are you gonna look up YouTube videos or travel blogs or travel websites, Facebook posts, Instagram? So there's actually a lot of content out there that can help you with your research.